you've made an animation with a bunch of characters, but you want to merge them all into one armature and mesh, and when you do that, it just breaks. So there's several steps to this workaround. Uh, first, you're going to want to rename the bones so that they're not overlapping with other bone names. So I'm going to go into pose mode. I'm going to select all the bones with A. I'm going to press Control F2 to open the batch rename. I'm going to change it to bones. And I'm going to change this to set name, which lets us add to the end of each bone name. You can add anything, just so long as it's different for each character. And uh, go back into object mode so I can select this. Do the same thing, but with a different letter. Do the same for the third armature. Now you see it's like left leg C. This one it's left leg B. Okay. So the ste second step is to apply the transforms on everything. Because you see this center is over here, that's over there, and we're going to need that to be the same on everything. So pr press Control A and uh, Location and Rotation. It's going to mess up if you have to apply scale. Hopefully they all have applied scale. If not, look in the description. I have a different tutorial. But uh, for this, we're going to skip that. And now the next step is joining all the meshes together. So first, you want to join the meshes. So select one of the meshes. Press A to select everything else. Or Shift Select if you have other ones you don't want to merge. And press Control J. And this will look like it's messed up, but once we join the armatures as well, select uh, the same armature as the one you join the meshes to. Press A, join them all together. And now we have everything. But if we press play, we say only one of them is moving. And that's because if you look at the action editor, there's three different actions, one for each armature, and only one is playing. So we can put them all together with the NLA editor. We can go up here and switch this to the nonlinear animation mode, or uh, nonlinear uh, NLA editor, as it's also called. And here is where the one action is. If we click this, then we can add other actions. I'm going to pause it and move it to the beginning so that when I press Shift A and add just whatever other actions are in there, you'll see that they're all playing. So now we have one mesh, one armature, and we can export this as FBX. And make sure in the export settings, turn these two settings off. And it'll export everything as one uh, animation. And just a few tips. Uh, if you can't find these animations because you've got way too many, then at the beginning of the tutorial, change the names of your actions in the action editor here. 